What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Duskers. I'm super excited because we are uh, we're getting pretty close to to having exactly what we need. Unfortunately, we have a, a shitty ship. Um, I need at least one more ship upgrade slot, and I need remote power, and I need a bigger scrap hole because once we get everything set up, we're going to be swimming in scrap. But for now, we're not there yet. Guys, we're not there yet, and anything could happen, especially going into a fuel depot B with two infestation types. We're going to jump right in. Oh, actually, before we do that, uh, as usual, remember, I don't know why I didn't do this last time, and somebody mentioned in the comments, um, they were like, oh, you should, you know, get rid of one of those drones. Yeah, I, I've been saying that the entire series, guys. I always only keep one spare drone because you can find two. We're going to get rid of Husk, even though he's got more HP than Cutter, because Cutter is more iconic. And that's just how I roll. Uh, if we take a look at these, we're good. I don't need to I don't need to add more motion sensors just yet, because 32. I'm not going to use 32 in one, in one go. Anyway, let's get in here. Let's check it out. We do have scan now, so hopefully uh, I won't forget about that, as I am want to do. Oh, no. Remember, I switched out at the uh, at the shop. I switched out uh, ship surveyors, and I forgot to put the other one in. Well, whatever. We'll figure it out. Two infestation types, ladies and gentlemen. Onyx, come on, buddy. All right. So I want to check out. Uh, we are going to hit scan on this guy, too. Let's go ahead and scan. Didn't get any extra scrap, but that's okay. You can't win them all. Grab this. I almost typed grab because I said grab instead of gather. Uh, and now that I think about it, you don't actually have to go check the whole room when you have scanned because that's the whole point of scan. Well, I mean, one of the points of scan anyway. Okay. So this is actually good. This is a good setup. It's closed door 37. Also, the fact that there are 37 doors um, <laughs> means that it's going to take a while. So let's, we're going to stealth up and check R6 because I want to clear all the rooms that are connected to room 3 right off the bat. So let's go stealth up. Open door 36. And we're clear in here. And we don't have anything extra. Okay. That's a kill room, but we don't have interface. So that doesn't help. Now let's go check out room four. Because like I said, I like to clear all of the rooms that are connected to my main, my staging area, I like to call it. Now this is a small room, so there's anything in it. Oh, yep. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to get rid of that guy right now. And to do that, I'm gonna. Oh, I can't. I don't have a trap. Alright, let's go get our traps. I believe Vagabond has the traps. He sure does. We're gonna get rid of this guy right now because he's got scrap and I want it. So I'm gonna drop a trap right here. Now, this trap may destroy that interface. But, again, don't have an inter. Well, a terminal. Sorry, I hit the mic there. A terminal, they call it. Uh, but I don't have an interface, so it doesn't matter. All right. Now, being that this is the case, uh, I could check other rooms as well, but I don't have a way to motion other rooms, so maybe that's pointless. All right, let's just open door 19 and let that asshole into the other room and destroy him so I can get a sweet, delicious scrap, and then I can check room four for more hidden sweet, delicious scrap. All right, let's go. Uh, was it 37? Yeah. Oh, look at it. Give it all to me. I like when they have three. I think three is the maximum that they can have. All right. So even though uh, we have tiny rooms like that, I'm going to be scanning all of them because why the hell not? Okay, so we can start checking other rooms now. 
theoretically I could move um, could move Vagabond into room 5 and scan again let's do that or not scan but you know what I mean motion okay we got evil in that room we have two infestation types so I don't know what kind it is uh, let's check this room real quick first Lost signal for two, that is not that big of a deal. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, trap whatever is in room, whatever is behind 33 there. Let's drop another trap, go back up here, motion again. And then we're gonna get Onyx out of here so that he does not get blowed up. Alright. Bring it on, homie. Let's see what you got. That trap is super close to the... I don't think it actually matters, though. The trap being close to the terminal there. I think if it's going to blow up the terminal, it's going to blow up the terminal. And it blew up the terminal. Whatever. We'll be okay. Alright. And there's another junk bot. Excellent. Because remember, we do have two infestation types. It could have been anything. Uh, and that means that... Whatever is behind door 33 there is probably clear. Now, because I don't have, I didn't bring the ship scan or the ship surveyor, I don't know if there's any empty or like open doors anywhere here. And uh, that means we're gonna have to still be careful. All right. Okay, there aren't very many rooms that we can still check without having to move. But I can check that other room. Okay, all right. Let's go check that. I know that usually I would want to make my way to room two super quick, but I just want to be systematic about this. What have we got in here? Nothing, all right. Oh God, all right, all right. Hold on, okay, whew, that door is open. Um, so that means that I definitely 100% need to go into room two now. Because if there's an enemy moving back and forth, I need to be able to close that door. And that was a weird noise and it scared me for a second there. Uh, we do have a room up in the corner there on, on the other side of D12, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm actually super curious to know what the other infestation type is. It is a leaper. Alright. Well, we're about to use even another trap, and that's going to put us at one trap left. I don't really like that, but it's got to be done. Let's get Onyx out of here. Alright. Oh, I don't need to close the 30, so I need to switch. Nope. Damn it. All right. Down to one trap. All right. Open door 32. And let the killing begin. So that means that we are at... We know what the two infestation types are now. You know what I can do instead? Is move this guy. You know what? Let's do that. Let's let him into this room, and then just R4. R4 could be dead to me, and we could pick that trap back up. Come on, buddy. I know it's a tiny room, but it's got a video game in it, and that will keep you busy for a while. Come on, dude. Let's go, buddy. Thank you. All right. We'll pick that trap up. I think it's just pick up. There we go. I am going to move them back into the staging area though because I, uh, I'm nervous leaving them separated. So let's flag R4. R4 is evil. And I am going to stealth up before going back into room two. 
That's just that's just how it's got to be. Oh no, we're gonna have two cutters. There can only be one. Guys, there can only be one. Uh oh. <laughs> Alright, all right, that's fine. Let's see what we've got on him. Mine. Eh, it doesn't really help. I mean, mines are cool and all, but they don't do enough damage to kill a leaper. Although they do enough damage to kill everything else, I believe. Uh, except for they they wouldn't even kill goo because you have to move into the room. You know how it is. All right, let's go get Cutter then. I guess that's what happens when you have a relatively small um, name list to pull from. Oh, you know what? I didn't check. I didn't look. Okay. I was looking to see if it had four slots. Let's get this guy back on the ship. And then we will continue. I like to put them in the corner so that there's enough of the ship to uh, maneuver through in case I need to do a quick end command. Alright. So the only other room I can check before moving my generator before moving, was it Tiamat? Yeah. Is this one up here. So D36. Jump on in. Close D36. I want to stealth up and pop this door open. And we're good. There's power here too. That's interesting. And we got an extra scrap. Awesome. Oh no, I can go through door 11. All right, let's do that then. All right, and this should, I feel like this is the edge of the ship, but I could be wrong. I actually don't know. It is the edge of the ship, all right. And nothing special, but that's about as far as we can go until I could power room 10. But I'm just going to power room 2 and see where room 2 actually powers. So I need to get out of any room that I think may be unpowered. And then let's go. That's what I want to do is close that fucking open door. I hate when there's a door that's already open. I absolutely hate it. Alright. This is still good. Because I could use room 8 now. And room 9 as staging areas. I think I'll use room 9. Uh, as a matter of fact... Let's get Vagabond down to room 9 and, uh, and motion it. Oh, shit. That D20 was clear, right? Yeah, that's the one I moved into room f four? No, well, I mean, I, I've scanned it, so clearly it's clear. Oh. oh, shit. Room who knows and room 12. Where is room 12? Oh, fuck, I need to... I have four minutes for that. All right. Okay, so an unknown room and room 12 are going to get hit. And we know that 12 is clear. So we're going to go check 12 super quick. But I need to get this guy safe. Close door 20. And room 12 was clear. All right. Gather that scrap, which conveniently put it right next to me. And then what we're going to do, as usual, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're probably like, dude, you don't have to do this. Uh, but I'd really like to get everybody back on the ship and wait this out. But I am going to check room 13 real quick first. Oh, God. All right. Okay. Okay. 
because sometimes the asteroids alter their trajectory, you know? Alright, um... Let's go ahead and end for now. Get everybody back on the ship. We're gonna wait this out. It should only be about a, a minute or two. And we have options. It sucks that I didn't know all of the rooms that are going to get hit because I could have checked them real quick. I mean, it's uh, there's a decent amount of rooms that I haven't checked so far. Um, hopefully it doesn't ruin anything with room 2 or room 5. I don't think it will. It's probably the one that's connected to 12, to be honest. Which means that I probably could have checked it super quick. But now I don't have time. I don't think I have time anyway. I wish I would have had the damn ship surveyor on. What is the... Oh, this is a, a station, so I can't commandeer it anyway. Alright, we're going to wait for here for a second. And uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, so room 12 was hit. Door 22 was busted. I don't think a different room was hit. Or it just doesn't tell me because I haven't unlocked that room yet. So the room next to room 12 I think probably was hit too. So I've got to be careful in opening any door into that room, I think. Um, because it says room 12 has been exposed to outside, meaning... If I open like door 41 or door 40... I think it will suck me out into space. So, we got to be very careful around that area, I think. Again, it's been a while, and I haven't really had to worry about that, except for uh, early in this series when I lost drones to that. But that was from the hit. So, let's get back out there. Go back to room two. Right? Yeah, where am I going? I'm just going to... Yeah. And I think that it's not giving me any information on the other room that was hit because it had a six or a sixty-two percent chance that it was going to get hit. So I'm pretty sure it got hit. I just don't know what room it is. So this could be very bad because it might not be the room that I think it is, and it might have been exposed to outside. So I'm gonna go. I did check room 13. I'm going to go down to room 13 so I can go through door 16. This could be very bad, ladies and gentlemen. Um, again, don't actually remember if that's how it works. Like, it may auto-seal when it's exposed to outside. I don't, I don't, I just don't fucking know. What do we have in here? An unpowered gun and no enemies. All right. Getting a decent amount of scrap though, which is good. Now this is what we're gonna do, guys. I'm gonna close door 16 and open door 30, and if radiation starts leaking in, then I don't care about that room anymore. So, door 30. Now, the problem with doing this is that it also may be uh, letting something into that room. All right, you know what? Now that I think about it, I think it would have said room question mark has been uh, exposed to the outside and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So I think it might actually be safe. So now I'm gonna stealth up. Open door 16 again, see if I let anything in here. I did not. Okay, well then that means I'm going to check it. If I lose Onyx, I'm going to be very upset, especially if it's because of this, because I was being so careful. But, I'm nervous as fuck, guys, but we're going to do it. Oh, and here's the fuel and everything. All right, cool. We're good. 
I do need the fuel. There we go. Oh my god. Almost the perfect one. And there's power down here, which is good. That being the case, I'm going to close door 30. And we're going to get two back on the ship. And we're going to swing down to room 15 and power that one. It looks like room 12 might be the only one that was actually hit. So. Let's do this. And then we'll do... Uh, because I'm sure that this will only get this other room here in the corner. We'll probably have to go to room 10 to power the stuff behind door 14 over there. So we're going to dock with a 6. Luckily I was able to check room 4, or room 12, before bad shit happened to it. Alright, we're going to get Vagabond and Highwire out of the damn way. Okay, so that did open room 16. Excellent. Let's get up here in motion real quick. Save some time. If that is, oh, of course. All right, then we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Let's stealth up and check this one. No evil. And nothing. All right. So what did that do for me here? Okay, I can check this last room through here. Don't need to power room 10. Gonna do that. D27, check it out. Oh god. All right, here's here's the problem. Here's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. All right, now we're cut off. Oh, no, we're not. Okay, I don't know if he stayed in that room or not. So, <laughs> god damn it. All right. I guess we're just going to have to stealth up and check. D28. And then we'll stealth up. Open door 16. Let's see what this asshole is doing. He is there. Let's see if he goes in through D28. He is definitely going in through D28. So now he has free reign of that large part of the ship there. So I think he's going to be a little bit happier. And maybe not want to kill the next person that comes through here. And that does not affect me at all. Alright, sir. You win. You have been let out of your tiny room. Now you have a much bigger room. or mul And also multiple rooms. So, uh, good going, homie. Let's get out of here. Uh, do I need to end yet? Yeah, I do. I had a plan to be vindictive, but I'd have to power things to be able to do that. So we're just going to go ahead and end and get out of here. Now, unfortunately, this took a little bit longer than I anticipated. I don't know why I anticipated that it wouldn't take that long. It was a station B, so this is about where we're going to have to end it. But there are a couple things. Uh-oh, trap is deteriorating. There's a couple things that we're going to... I had 18 scrap. So, all right. Let's get rid of the second cutter here. I got to get rid of his, uh, his mine first. There we go. Let's get rid of the second cutter here. Let's refill the motion sensors. Repair and refill the, sh the uh, trap. And I think that's good. Yeah, it's good for now. 
And we still have 24 scrap. That's good. Uh, now, we're going to put this bad boy back in there. I hate that it wasn't on there. I should check every time because if you remember, like, I went to the, the shop and I saw one that was less hurt than the one that I had, so I switched them out and I just forgot to do that. Uh, so because of the way we're doing things, I'm going to have to go down to this guy and then up to this guy. And then we'll end up going over here and doing some shit in here and going back. And w when we go back, we'll be here and we can hit these three. So we're going to be doing that. But uh, for now, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the time I've got. So if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the dislike button. And, you know, subscribe and hit the bell and all that. I think I'm going to stop saying this stuff, but uh, whatever. Whatever. You guys, you guys know what to do. You've been watching long enough. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.